Plastic on buns are the mouth. Please cut my hair. Answer the question, you politician. When you came through, when you came through the door, when you spit history. You give a man a simple question, a man can't answer it. That's what you're smoking, you boy. You need to dash that away for that. What are you smoking? You gave me what to smoke. Let me finish. Let me finish. You guys are not even playing football, man. That was pig skin. That was pig skin. It's not what you guys are playing. It don't matter. That wasn't football. Pig skin. It don't matter. That has been erased from the history when of football. Came, when you came in first. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you believe Arsenal is going to make the top three? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Tally heads to the barbers on a wet Saturday morning and the boys discuss why people lie. It's clear to see. Clearly there was a research that says that uh, every average human being lies at least once every day. For me, I think everyone lies. Everyone lies for different reasons. Some people call it white lies, some people call it black lies. The different types of lies. There's a devilish lie as well. So basically, why do people lie? <laughs> everyone lies every day. Because we're born into it. Like we all lie, do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we lie to cover up a certain situation, sometimes we lie to make the other person feel the not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm self-taught and plus I come from a family of barbers. Okay. So So you've got your, you know barbers in your language basically. Yeah. You know so you didn't lie. Huh? You didn't lie. No. Tell me you've never lied on a CV before. No. You're a bloody liar for saying that. Is the liar and a deceiver? Try they call me a liar. Is that true? Hmm. In what way? I don't know. Why don't you write your CV and we'll find out? Tell me who doesn't lie on your CV. Peps doesn't? Never lied on my CV. Everyone. Say that again. Never lied on my CV. Never lied on my CV. Never lied on my CV. Everyone. Everyone packages his CV. Every single person packages. Everyone says, oh, like Peps. Peps lies to me a lot. <laughs> Honestly, he's a bloody lying man. I don't know why he's talking about it. This man needs to go for confession. Get him the Vatican. Liar. If someone's looking for a job and they know they want to get that job, then by all means, lie me. Like you did? The way they package the CV is like a big wedding cake, like a big present. They package it with so many icing, put all the padding on top of it. I want some cake. Because you're how many of them guys lie to them ladies? <laughs> when it comes to things like, I'll give you a lot of work and all the accommodations today. Tell me you never lied to a lady before in your life. Alfred, uh, once in a while. Okay, there you go. I rest my case, isn't it? Once in a while. Better. I've lied to lady more than once. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's under some certain situation and circumstances. But, you know, man's a man, isn't it? Relationships you lie. <laughs> Everyone has lied to their lady friends. Babes, where are you? Uh, I'm out with my friends. And sometimes they're not out with their friends, they're probably with another girl. <laughs> Let's leave that one there. In every, even in football, yeah? We talk about football every time. The coaches lie to their players. Preach, preacher. The reason I say coaches lie to their players is because sometimes I will tell players like, uh, you know, you're a quality player. I want you in my squad. I want you to be part of my team. But you're only gonna play five matches the whole season. Or six, you know? no, no, no. If the coach tells a player he's the best player in the world, he's lying he's, to him. He's lying to him, but then he thinks he's better than what he is, so then he might act better. He might perform better. Been. Yeah, no. And I agree with Dylan because the truth is some players, when, when you tell some players stuff like you are really good and the player is not that good some players kind of get the wrong ideology and they think they're better than what they are you know, they, they become inflated upstairs, you know, they, they have inflated egos at the end of the day oh yes, I'm good, I'm good, you know why you're not really good then you go to another club and realise how bad you are it's not realistic, that player's gonna turn around and be like, oh, I know I'm not the best player in the world, so why is he telling me that? Yeah, right. if you but some players to... actually, some players actually who come to that statement or that testimony from a coach. The coaches just have to make that white lie. Maybe they're hoping that the player is gonna, you know, improve better to that level that they're thinking he's as good at, or they just lie to him to make him feel better. You know, the white lie. All right, all right, enough of your football. Coming up next, who is the worst liar? Men or women? Who do you think out of the sexes tell the worst lies better than women? I think women are the biggest players on this planet. 
I think women like the most. I've got four sisters, so. So the boys are at war with the ladies, people. I'm not sure the ladies are gonna like this. Who is the worst liar, men or women? I've got a better one. Who do you think out the sexes tells the worst lies, men or women? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that one. Over to you, Beps. You've been very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough question. Men or women? To me, be honest, I think women are the biggest players in this planet, more than men. Do you know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm being is a girl can go out, do what she wants to do, come home, kiss her, fill up, and the guy won't know nothing. Whereas the guy will probably go out, do what he's doing, come home, and probably feels kind of guilty, you know, give his missus flowers, smooch her up, and all that sort of stuff. But as I, as I said, the biggest players in this planet are females. So I do say, yeah, women do like more than men. Now, this is going to sound sexist. I think women like the most. Because or I think women's lies are more harsh than men's. Men lie about stupid stuff like, I'm at the pub, or my trainers cost 300 pounds, or my trainers are real, like. Don't tell the ladies our secrets. <laughs> um, but I honestly think that women tell vicious lies. Like, they can say stuff like, it's your baby. And then 18 years later, you find out it's not. Men or women? the worst liars. I've got four sisters, so I am definitely not going to comment on that. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to leave that out to be honest with you. I'm going to leave that out. He's scared of his sisters? Chicken. On the next episode, the boys accuse the parents of lying. Make sure your mom and dad doesn't watch this. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'm out of here guys. Lying has been introduced to us by our parents. Thank you very much! The castle was haunted six, seven times. Some was it ten times, fifteen times. It's something that our parents have taught us. I'm an orphan, okay? Stop lying! <laughs> okay, I have not been in any accident. I am well and alive. He he was flying like a vulture. My guy don't have no wings. Where is he flying to? Some people are perpetual liars. They are chronic liars. Chronic liars, Boris Johnson. Check that out. Understood what I did wrong. I was trying hard to find a place where I belong. I lived an empty life, but I had to carry on. I guess I really was giving up on love, and I tried to block those feelings off. If you like my friends and I, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And make sure you click the bell icon as well. The one screen on the screen right now. Have you done it? Come on now. What are you waiting for? Come on. Now. Now. Now.